How's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from my art studio. Or my art studio. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, this video is called Who Buys Art? Who Buys Art? <laughs> okay, I know that the the the, the the question, right? Who who buys art? The question is very, uh, I don't know, abstract. Maybe very. I don't. I can't find the word right now. But let's let's stick with abstract. It's my video, so I'm gonna stick with abstract. Uh, so who buys art, right? It's too abstract. Like, what what are you talking about? Who buys art? Well, see, the thing is that most of us, most artists, most creatives, tend to think that a specific person buys art. In 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 the case of a uh, of a painter like myself, an artist, right? A, a, we, we tend to think about the collector. Oh, the, this collector buys art. Let's say I paint uh, some impressionistic type of paintings, right? Oil on canvas. So I'm thinking automatically, and this is what most of us are taught, automatically we go and start thinking, who likes impressionist art, landscape paintings, oil on canvas, and all of a sudden you are looking for this specific specific person right you 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 neglect everyone and you're looking for this person because we're too afraid we're, we've been taught to not talk to other people because those are not your and i made a video very similar to this but but i just i needed to drive it home <laughs> so we we tend to think okay let's say you're a musician right i i, I talk about music too because i was a musician when i was younger i guess i still am but i used to be a working musician um, so if, if I play rock and roll, right, I play rock music, uh, who, who would go to my, my show? Who would go to the gigs, right? And you start thinking, well, who, who, who would do that? Of course, people that, people that like hip hop are not going to go to my show. People that like country are not going to go to my show, but that's a lie. See, that's, this that's, that's where, that's where it goes. That's where it goes awry. That's where, that's where we get distorted. Because we start, we start chiseling down this perfect person. And that is, that is very, uh, I think that's because there's, 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 there's misinformation. Like that idea, I believe, comes from, from either one or two places, okay? The first one, just bad information. People, people passing on bad information over and over. Uh, one century after another. The other one about chiseling to this person, to this to this perfect person, comes from very high end marketing strategies. You know, these these are like uh, direct marketing sales, direct marketers. They 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 train themselves to to create what what is called an avatar, the person who will buy from you. But this has a different function. See, in the beginning, what I've learned. And, and I've learned on, on my own some things on, in other ways. Uh, I wasn't fast enough to learn them, I guess, and I had to learn them from coaches. But you want to go wide. You want to first go and just talk to everyone. See, the thing is that you want to reach that quality collector or that quality uh, follower, subscriber. Let's say you do videos. I don't know. Most people want to reach that. You know, they're like, they're like uh, cherry picking. Which, which, which people are going to, what person's going to like what I have to sell or I have to, I don't know, maybe you're a magician. My show, what person's going to, what specific person? Well, you're neglecting the whole freaking population of the world, right? So what I've learned now through, through, through experience, through one one uh, ass kick after another is that you want to go wide first. When you go wide and you go wide hard enough, then you're, you're going to start narrowing down. But you're still... Anyways, I don't want to confuse you. Go wide first. <laughs> Why? Because, because quantity creates quality. And most of us are, are taught the, the, wrongfully, I believe. The idea that you first have to find that quality person or you have to find that quality group of people that are diehards. That, those diehard collectors or those diehard uh, music lovers, followers, or the people that like your jewelry or people that like your, your magic shows or whatever it is that you do. You're a creative person, right? I don't know what you do. Those people will come because, I don't know, you did a hundred shitty shows. <laughs> And then you're gonna start getting those 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 quality people that are like, you know what? I really like what you, what you're doing. 
Uh, I don't want to confuse you too much with this kind of stuff, but I just wanted to throw it in there. Those of you who uh, who understand what I'm talking about, I'm glad you got it. <laughs> Those of you who don't hang in there, you're going to get it. Uh, who buys art? Everybody buys art. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't neglect people. Don't 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 go into like, oh, I'm gonna I'm only gonna talk to this person because this person's no your your local grocery they buy art. You know, the people who sell cars they buy art. Everybody buys art. It's just it's just in different levels. Maybe maybe they're not used to buying original you know high end art, but maybe they can buy a print you know and on and on. Maybe maybe someone's not gonna pay I don't know five hundred bucks for a VIP concert, but maybe, <laughs> or I don't know whatever they charge. But someone's gonna be like, yeah, I'll, I'll listen to your demo, or I'll buy your, you know, your shirt or your, I don't know, your CD for 10, 15 bucks. Everybody buys art. It's just that we do it in different levels. Okay, I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a finer artist. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.